of the exam. Oh, and uh, let's see, the, um, the average and stuff. The average was in the mid-80s, 84, 85. Um, but the median was much higher. So uh, you know, a few of the scores went down lower and had a longer tail, the distribution. Um, so, uh, so yeah, the median, like half of the class got basically 90 or above, somewhere around there. Maybe it was 89 and above. And then half got below that. But it feels like people are mostly following this stuff. If, if you didn't get a score you were happy with, um, Come talk to me, because I, I really think that there are good ways to, I mean, usually, like, if people are working hard enough on this stuff, putting enough time into studying, and, um, and not getting good scores, it's, it's usually just um, not thinking, it, it's not preparing the way that I'm picturing you preparing. That's what it usually is, and so uh, usually I can help help you get back on track, you know. Um, so come talk to me if, if you're willing to put it, you know, you're putting in the time, but you're not getting the scores that you would like, because we can probably fix it. All right, so outside of the test, what are we talking about? What were we talking about before the test? OK. And next, next down, next layer in. We're talking about stresses, so um, we're talking, yeah, we, uh, so we finished, stresses due to bending moments. Good. Um, and uh, what about strains due to bending moments? What did we talk about how to do strains due to bending moments? How hard do you think that's going to be? That's right. So it's exactly the same as calculating strains any other way. We we have a way to calculate the stresses, and then you just pl multiply by the matrix, and it gives you the strains. Um, so now what we're going to do is stresses. due to shear force. Um, what kind of stresses did we have due to bending moments? Normal stresses, yep. So this was just sigma xx. Uh, now we're going to have the shear force is going to produce shear stresses. Um, one difference, um, so one thing to keep in mind as we're doing this, um, what were the requirements, what were the beam requirements for stresses due to bending? OK, so uh, yeah, it had to be straight. And um, yep, so it had to be prismatic. Yeah, very good. Uh, you could think of this as like symmetric about the y-axis. Um, and so. With these requirements, uh, there was a lot of flexibility in what kind of cross-sectional shapes we could have. You know, obviously there's still a lot that aren't included, but we could come up with a whole bunch of shapes that would work just fine. No, not this again. I just rebooted my computer so that wouldn't happen. <laughs> 